trackpad replacement for MacBook Air A1466. The tools we're going to need are a T5 screwdriver, a Pentalope screwdriver, and tweezers are optional. Go ahead and begin by removing the two Pentalope screws that are slightly longer than the rest of the screws. There are 10 screws in total, these two that are slightly longer in the center top, and then the eight going around the contour that are sl slightly shorter. Go ahead and remove those eight next. With all 10 screws removed, go ahead and lift up and remove the cover panel to the side. Always begin by disconnecting the battery. Go ahead and find that little tugging lever and pull on it to disconnect the battery from the logic board. The battery is secured with five screws, one in each corner and one in the middle. These are all T5 screws. Go ahead and unscrew them and remove the battery. With the battery out of the way and the trackpad exposed, go ahead and lift up on that little eyelash right there and disconnect the keyboard cable. Now underneath, lift up another lash and carefully disconnect this keyboard cable from the trackpad. With a uh, Phillips head screwdriver, go ahead and remove the three top Phillips head screws and then the three top Phillips head screws on the left side. With those six screws out of the way, you can crack open the case, gently lifting it up and then pushing down and up on it and moving it out of its socket, just like so. Trackpad installation for MacBook Air A1466. Begin by aligning the uh, trackpad from underneath. Slide the back in first and then push it up. Go ahead and clamp down the case now. Secure one Phillips head screw on each side to hold the trackpad down. Now go ahead and secure the remainder two Phillips head screws on each side for a total of six screws. Now go ahead and tuck in the uh, logic board keyboard cable. Now tuck in the keyboard cable that goes into the trackpad. This is a little tricky and might take some patience. Go ahead and place the battery into its orientation as follows. Secure it with the five T5 screws, one in each corner and one in the center. You can do them in any order that you like. Go ahead and reconnect the battery. Place the cover back on top. Go ahead and secure the two uh, slightly longer pentalobe screws first and then the remaining eight going around the contour uh, of the MacBook Air.